Ahoy my fellow land lovers, we are back into the visually stunning Plunder Pirates, a game which we haven't played in a while. Seems to be the story with a lot of these games, we don't really do too many episodes uh, between updates, but we are having a lot of fun still playing this. I've been playing this quite a bit. My guild is called Bad Piggies, we are coming like 6th in the world at the moment, which is quite impressive. We are doing a guild push, and this latest update really focuses on different um, guild aspects. Oh, here we go. We're actually fourth now in the world. Uh, not all that far from first. The top two seem to be some Asian, or top three, sorry. No, sorry. Top two seem to be um, Asian clans. But this update, 1.8, called Guild Rumbles, includes a team aspect to the game. So now, not only are we able to actually donate troops to our team members, we can obviously do all that stuff. There's now 64 messages saved up as well, so there's a lot more messages that we can read through if there's a backlog. And th let's check out the main feature. So, the guild rumbles. We've got an active rumble in at the moment. Our guild is, it's a little bit one-sided to be honest. We are so far ahead of everyone else. The way that the guild rumbles work is that you need battle points. So for every victory that you get and for, I guess, I'd assume for every oh we've got a game center request actually what we should do is this is what oh, I should do before recording is actually turn off the um, notifications but let's go explore the seven seas and we can send in let's see uh, let's go for a fish here we go let's go for a bigger fish this one which will give us some nice amount of battle points so let's go set sail yeah I'm happy with that track so let's set to sail there we'll get a lot of battle points for that and we'll help out our guild uh, but you can also go get your battle points through fighting other people so let's check out what's actually happening here the scores so the top pirates we can see who's coming in what position i'm no doubt coming last because i haven't been fighting 46 okay Oh, we're actually not doing too bad. There's been a, quite a few people that I haven't played since the update got released. It's been a couple of hours since it's been released now, so I can understand why people might not have played this yet. There's a lot of guys that have played a lot, though. 14 battles by West Style 0 It's quite impressive. Or We Style or something of the sort. Uh, there's different rewards that you get, so we get, wow, that's quite a bit. You also get battle points as a reward and 1.1 million gold and grog and 35 diamonds. So I guess I'm going to have to get used to that because my guild is no doubt going to be winning a lot uh, in comparison to these other clans, which is quite good. And we also get free loot, so can't complain about that. There are a couple of rules that um, you do need to follow. They aren't really all that... Um, well, they make sense is what I'm trying to say. They aren't all that strange or anything of the sort. Um, the matchmaking, I guess, could be worked on, but my guild is so far ahead of everyone else that, I mean, it'll always be unfair. Uh, we have hit 48 out of 50 people. You need a required rank of 500. I'm actually just short of that at 495 at the moment, but that's because I've just been getting attacked. If we have a look at um, my defensive log, geez, it's been a long, well, two days so that's since I guess the update because my attack logs empty I haven't attacked anyone in two days I don't play this game anywhere near as much as what I used to because I feel like there's not much left to level up um, we've pretty much leveled up all our defensive buildings almost maximally apart from the cannons um, a couple of them can go up to level 14 but apart from that maybe one more gun town it's just the walls that are the grind and to be honest uh, I'm a bit Meh at the walls. I don't really seem all that fussed about not having max walls, but I'm still having quite a bit of fun randomly playing this game. Actually, we might be able just close enough to upgrade this cannon. We need 2 million gold. We're at 1.997. Let's have a look. How much will it cost? Oh, eight diamonds. Okay. Or oh, gems. Uh, I might as well spend that because I don't use the gems for anything else apart from maybe once they release Pirate Hall 9. I'll go ahead and speed that up for you guys in a video depending on how much you want to see that. But it's a quick little update video. We might have a look at um, how we've been getting attacked. How about that? Because I did just send in my whole army on a ship voyage, didn't I? Not the smartest decision. So let's see. This guy I took called the Gankai. He took a heck of a lot of my resources. 
Oh, we actually can't go ahead and view that. Maybe what about this guy? Here we go. We can view this guy's attack then. Fair enough. 76%. So it did still a fair amount of damage. Just to check this out. The replays seems to have been fixed um, for quite a while now because the replays um, weren't all that accurate. They weren't accurate as to what actually happens while he got attacked. So it seems like they've changed that around. We can obviously go into this cool view as well. Almost like a third person person. Per, um, yeah, person view or something of the sort of view. Let's go back into here and have a look at the tactical view. Have a look at where he's dropping his stuff. Yeah, he seems to be. Oh, he seems to be sending in a lot of guys over here to this side with all our grog. All right, he's got a lot of these bomb throwers, which I've never actually really used. For me, it's always been juggernauts and gunners. And that seems to have always worked there wonders for me. Look at him take that grog or gold. Damn, he definitely took quite a lot there. One gold storage down. He's got another gold storage very close to him as well, that she, which he is taking down actually. He's going to take that down quick smart as well. Damn, we've got our ground pounder shooting its mortar shells. Doing a fair bit of damage. I love the silver ground pounder as well, looking very, very cool. Dropping more and more of it. Does he get my pirate hall? That is the question. I wouldn't be surprised. Is it 62% now? He'll be very close. Let's have a look at what we've got happening over here. But all our other guys, uh, Gun Tower's going ahead and shooting his Witch Doctor, it seems like, that he's got. Trying to save his troops' life. Oh, wow. The pirate hall is going to go down, and that's going to be it at 76%. That was definitely a good raid. We've already got one more gold storage left. 141,000, but he did a really good job. Ah, oh, here we go. It seems like they haven't really improved the um, replays. Because, let's see, he got 82%. Let's see what it'll do now. Is at 82%, 84%, and he's dead, right? 84%, but if I check this... It says he only got 76%. So it seems like they've still got those issues with replays, which is unfortunate. Um, so they aren't completely accurate as to how it works out. I don't understand how it's not accurate, but for one reason or another, it says he got 84% of our base, but here it says 76 So interesting. But that is just a quick little overview of the active rumble or guild rumble um, aspect of the game. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you again another time.